Well, Jaden, just sum up what that win meant to you guys. It was massive for us. Um, you could see in the game how much we fought for it. We knew before the game what we'd have to do to come in and get a big result um, and leave with the three points. And we've done that today. We showed fight, determination, experience at times. And I think we dealt with, with what they threw out. So I think, yeah, we deserved it. Yeah, it was all parts of the job, wasn't it? At times you had to defend really well as a team. At times there was some great attacking play. Yeah, I mean, that's the balance we've got in, got in the squad. We've got a lot of experience and then we've got youth as well. We've got players that can, can head and kick it and we've got players that can play out as well. We've got attacking threats. We've got everything in, in the team which, which shows out there today. When we're willing to do, do the dirty stuff as well, then we can get the points. What does it mean to you guys to be 11 points clear of third in the race for automatic promotion? Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice to know. Um, I don't think you can look into that too much. It's still still early on. Um, but we just take it game by game and, and keep doing our thing and training throughout the week and keep preparing right for the games. And, and hopefully at the end of the season, we'll achieve what we want to achieve. Few people would not think that it might be a race between Burnley and Sheffield United for, for ultimately the title. Do you guys see them as a spur? I think we know they're a good team as there are many good teams in, in the division, but I think we just need to focus on, on us and what we do, and I think it will take care of itself. 50 points, though, at this stage of the season, that's a tremendous achievement. Yeah, it is, um, but again, we just try not to, to look at the table too much. It's hard, hard not to, but yeah, we just need to keep taking it game by game and, and hopefully keep picking up three points as the season goes on. What did it mean to you to get back out there? Just your third match for Sheffield United this season? Yeah, no, it's massive for me. I'd probably say it's been a tough probably 10 months um, with the injury but now I was just delighted to, to get back out there and, and especially to leave with the three points as well. Just sum up what that's been like because it was early February wasn't it when the first set, the first injury came obviously we saw you a couple of times earlier in the season how, how have you got through that? Yeah it was tough tough at the start um, and then just supporting the boys I think around the time I got injured we started to kick on Last season, getting into the playoffs, had the playoffs to look forward to, um, then some some time off in the off season, and then back in ready for pre season, um, and then yeah, just just looking at the the end goal, which was getting back playing, and I think I just tried to stay as positive as I could, and I've done that, and it's, it's worked out quite well, especially today. Leaving good points. timing. Has it been uh, plain sailing? How would you describe the kind of the physical process? Yeah, it's been really tough. Um, a lot of gym stuff especially at the start um, and then I was just looking forward to getting back onto the pitch and then once you're back on the pitch it's a whole different feeling having a ball at my feet again and, and then easing my way back into training and yeah it was tough but I'm, I'm happy now. So in terms of being sort of 100% fit if a footballer is ever 100% fit where, where would you say you are now on that journey? Yeah I think I'm, I'm right back, back to where I was um, before my injury um, obviously haven't had much minutes recently which is understandable um, but but yeah, I'm working hard in training, doing top-up stuff to make sure I maintain my fitness levels and yeah, I, f I feel good. Do you feel as though that injury problem is now behind you? So if, if, if something happens again, it's just an impact injury? Yeah, <clears throat> that's, what, that's how I feel. Um, touch wood, I haven't felt anything to do with it, but, but yeah, I just try not to think, think about it and just play, play my normal game like, like I was before I was injured. Given everything that's happened in 2022 for you personally and obviously the team's success as well, how much are you looking forward to 2023? Yeah, it's going to be a massive 2023 and hopefully we all know what we want to achieve um, as a football club and hopefully that can be a great way great way to start it, end it, I don't know. <laughs> Sheffield United have built up the fact that they will end 2022 with the best away record in the division. You start 2023, of course, at, at QPR. What's been the secret to that success on the road? I just think, as I said, the experience we've got in the team, the balance we've got and the quality of players that we've got. Um, there's been, it's been tough games like today where we needed to dig deep and I think we've done that, so I think we deserve it. So QPR then is, is the next challenge. Some weeks they look like world beaters, other weeks you think, blimey, how's that happened? They're that kind of team this year? Yeah, it's a, another tough team. Um, they like to play football. They've got some players with, with attacking threats, but... Again, we'll, we'll focus on that, work hard in training on how to manage that and, and hopefully we can have a similar result to today.